Okay, so change of plans. I'm not going to use QT tab bar, and I'm going to use Styler toolbar. So uh, all you got to do is double click this and install Styler. And once it's installed, you're going to go and you're going to go to my computer. Even with this finder thing, you know how you just click that? Well, what you can also do, what I do is I click in the corner. And I don't know if that works on all machines, but if not, just click this. But, um, okay, I'm not trying to make, I, I hope this video is not too long. Um, okay, so, we're just going to find, we're going to go to our program files. Where are the program files? Uh, program files, then go to Styler, go to TB skins stylers and then just drop these two skins in there uh yes stop you oh yeah whatever um and i recommend okay so now what am i saying dude okay go back and then go to styler you know run it i'm gonna just change this real quick yeah, okay, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Um, Alright, so now you're going to run Styler. Open it up. And you're going to find somewhere in here, Leopard. I choose Leopard without tabs. Because I don't want tabs. I don't want those. There we go. That looks better. So you know, just adjust this to whatever. And lock it. Okay. So now you have that. Uh, icons. You're going to do your taskbar. It's just with one little program that I have called Max Sound. Now after you now after you install it, it's gonna be this little folder. Double click Max Sound. Okay, and then you're gonna just get this little sound thing. It works too, you know, you just Max Sound. Just the icon. Um Then you're gonna do desk oh, those for you later. We're gonna do main icons. Okay, so what you're going to do is install something called Icon Tweaker, which is a free icon, I'd say manager. Just install that. Run it. And then this little thing will change the icon to IT. And that's an icon pack. So you're just going to double click this. Then do you want to install the theme? Yes. Okay, and then let's just say Le Leopard XP Blue. You're going to double click that. Then you're going to click Apply. It'll it'll change all your icons, and you're going to click OK. Alright, then what you're going to do now, you're going to uh, right click, go to Properties, just on your desktop. Then you're going to go to uh, Appearance. You're going to click Advanced. Then you're going to go to Icon. And make the size to 48. Okay. And then just, you know, press OK. Alright. There you go. Now, now you have the, uh, you have the icons. You have the, the size. It looks really nice. Um desktop icons these you're just gonna put them on your desktop no you're not what am I saying keep them if you're in here if you want uh... what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a my computer thing a shortcut on your desktop once you have that you're gonna change the uh... the the, the icon then you're gonna change the icon to uh... To the one I gave you, which is the desktop icons. I'll put it the drive. Okay. 
Just put that, let's say, in the corner right here. Um, we just rename that. You know, something more legit. Uh, hide all this stuff somehow. I don't know, just put it somewhere. I have fences. And, um, basically, I think we're done here. Oh, no, 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 no. Right click your taskbar, go to properties, then right here it should say customize. Um, make sure everything is hidden. Everything, just hide everything. Everything you have, hide it. You know, I mean, if you want to keep some stuff, because you have to, but if not, just hide it. I'll keep that on. And, but make sure that the Mac sound is showing. Okay. And then you see up here, I have my Mac sound. Uh, hide my desktop. To hide your desktop, if you want. Oh, this close. What the fudge? Yeah, I said fudge. No, I'm going to just put that aside. Okay, so. To hide your desktop thing, you're just going to right click, go to view, and then click show desktop icons. That's to hide them. Um, so yeah, mess with the settings a little. Make it look perfect. And uh, there you go. That's that's how you get, that's how you transform Windows XP into a Mac OS X Leopard. And by the way, I will put a Vista skin in here and a Vista tutorial in here too. So if you want Vista and you want to do it. But um, yeah, here you go. That is pretty legit right there. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, and, you know, put a nice comment on this video if you tried this. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy doing this tutorial.